Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now today I'm here with another Stormworks creator named Sheepdog. He's invited me to come out and check out his latest creation that he's been working on. Now for those of you that don't know him, uh, he's done some amazing workshop creations that have actually made him stand out in the Stormworks community that I feel. Uh, this includes some of his Coast Guard bases, uh, his dock area builds uh, and loads of his Coast Guard vehicles that are very very replica to the original in real life. Uh, now if you're enjoying these videos, uh, comment below and also let me know what else you would like to see in any future videos. Um, while you're there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember to click that bell button to be notified of any upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So let's get straight into it and see what he's been working on. I like the Santa costume. Yeah, you know, have to be, have festive, to be, very festive. have to be in festive, festive clothing. Uh, okay, so what have we got? What have we got in front of us? All right, so this here is, uh, is our CGC 41 here. Come around the tail end. No, let's show you what I was talking about. Okay, cool. Alright, so, as you can see, we named her after uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, CDC-41. It's completely a uh, fictional cutter, not based upon a real cutter at all. It's just kind of a bunch of different cutters and pictures and things that I saw, and I, I took them and built them and slapped them all into one hull, and this is kind of our outcome. It's still a huge work in progress, though. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Well, I'm sure everyone will be very happy to see see this before beforehand, before, before we get released. So what do, what do we have here in front of us? So this is a little gangway that I made. I thought it would uh, be a pleasant idea to do to do this here um, and have a gangway down to the uh, the hatches instead of having to jump up and, and spaz out and try to get in or whatnot. You know. Yeah, something. the 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 usual jump but, jump uh, jumping in the water then climbing the ladder. Yeah, jumping in the water, trying to get into <laughs> the door, you know, all that all that fun stuff. But uh, but yeah, come on down the gangway okay, here and I'll, I'll show you inside. Uh, this has a full interior. Okay. And, uh, some of the interior lights don't exactly like, work yet. Like all the skylights in the gangway uh and then does this actually work if you were to go and use the helm here yes yeah it's completely adjustable um you can move it up down side to side okay cool twist this little end cap here nice okay, yeah, cool. so so we'll close that hatch if you want yeah and then uh i'll show you this first level now each side has this both port and starboard side of the vessel has okay. this level here this this door here um if we open this up uh, I'm guessing this is going to be your refueling refueling area. Right, right. Okay. So this this ship can uh, can operate three different vessels off of it: a Mark V uh, and two Mark IVs. And the Mark IV is the one that you'll see up top here in a little bit. Yeah. It's like a little rib. But this has a refueling and refueling, and then this is kind of like our little our cargo dock here. Um, okay. Both is good support for that. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, okay. The vessel is also going to be equipped completely with bilge and fire suppression systems. And if you go inside this little door here, uh, the Infrastructure for those two are, are going to be set up in there. I just haven't. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Cool. Really done yet, but I thought it was important to have fire suppression. Yeah. Well, def, 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 fire suppression. I, I, I personally, I, I would say in the um, in the engine room. Uh, oh, but uh, obviously, you can't go throughout the whole ship. Uh, it just all depends on the uh, lag and so on and so forth. The storm and how it handles it. Yeah. So this is level B2. Um, oh, okay, so you got little, okay, so you got little paint signs and so on everywhere, yeah, which is pretty cool. Even I've gotten lost in this thing, and I still do to this day. Um, so we got level B2, and then we'll take you back this way. We'll start in the engine room, just to kind of give you an idea. Of okay. So. Oh, you know what? I guess uh, we're yeah, swimming a bit. Spawned static, yeah. So it's gonna we're gonna be swimming. It spawned at static. So that's yeah, fine. That's fine. You can just talk. Do you want to talk me over it? Uh, I'll try and get down underneath there. I can kind of see it from here, which is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got it's got a it's got uh, it's what six eight something like that eight diesel engines I believe I put in there. Yeah. I go down there so often. I, I forgot. But anyway. Eight diesel engines, four large generators, and uh, it, it charges up power pretty pretty quick. Uh, don't have to worry about that. Nice. Um, and boat has a pretty decent top speed. That right there is our auto generator. It's trying to turn on. Okay. So, uh, like I said, worth the progress and all the stuff that this boat wants to do, and it just can't. It's uh, it's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Now where did you go? 
Is that, I'll probably, I'm gonna get lost in this place now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, ECR. Uh, ECR is the electronics control room, so that's gonna have, you know, different uh, electronics controls. You can already see some of the logic in there. It's kind of okay. a logic hub. Yeah. Um, I ran up to the bridge real quick to get our main engine started so we don't have uh, that an annoying sound of engines attempting to start over there. Okay. I see a whole bunch of um, custom microcontrollers here, or microprocessors. Sorry, what's up? I said I see a whole bunch of um, custom microprocessors here. Yes, I made a bunch of different ones for uh, all the hatches. You'll notice this boat has like. Ah, uh, okay, that's that's good. That's a small thing to do. Yeah, it's called uh, I believe the microprocessor is called small hatch controller. It <laughs> has a uh, red and green, and it's you know grabs the on the off signal and sends a one or. Yeah. Signal, so it's, it's helpful. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. I like these. Right, these. Where are you at? Uh, I am the next level up where we came in. Uh, B one. Uh, I do like these hatches that you've got between the decks. Um, oh yes, our ladder hatches. Yeah. All the actual hatches. Oh, nice. Those are pretty cool. And how it actually opens at um, it opens at an angle. Where are you? Well, I guess. Uh, um, so you're on B1, right? I just came up one, so I'm actually on the, uh, hold on, you're above me now. I'm smiling right now because I just <laughs> lost on the ship. Pretty much. Uh, I am open hatch, secure hatch, uh, let's just close that off. Alright, let's establish a rendezvous. I'm on T1 now? Alright, I'm T1 and I'm on the ship. Are. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, we found each other. Uh, yeah, these doors are pretty cool. I, li I like the doors. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like a, a hub room here. Um, here's our, our auto gen room. I, I still don't know what's wrong with these engines. It's a, it's a mess. Air is um, apparently the issue. Yeah. And then if you come out here, this is where uh, the Ooh, main what's, fueling... What's all this out here? Yeah, it's so our main fueling, refueling kind of area and whatnot. Um, this is Jeff okay. Diesel and... It's got it's got bleed valves. It's got uh, main pumps. It's got pressure sensors. I mean, anything you would need to know about refueling your ship is going to be nice. Very nice. And the jet fuel is for the supporting of air assets. And I'll show you that. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that would make sense. Uh, another little hub. This is a stern side hub, aft hub. We'll go up this okay. ladder. I'll show you that real quick. The, uh, the air asset. So here's our deck. Um, our flight deck. Yeah, flight deck. We've got our, our you know, tie downs and everything that you would need. Yeah. Some different lights and things. Here's the fuel so we can refuel, you know, choppers on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, different, different lights. Very nice. So having uh, eight diesel engines, here's something that, that was pretty interesting. Uh, this is our exhaust. We've got like 16 different exhaust pipes coming through here. So that was wow. a big thing to try to draw up. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of information here. Yeah, I think information is key to know, you know, what you're... What you're yeah, what's you're happening doing. in the ship, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you can kind of diagnose issues that you're having as you progress through building a, a beast like this. Okay, and I'm just guessing these pipes above us are just the jet's fuel pipes? Um, or exhaust? Those are exhaust, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Fuel is, uh, that's, another, that's actually another thing on my to-do list. I, <laughs> I, I had to write it down at some point. Yeah. I'll take you aft here real quick, and then I'll show you uh, something that was recently added. Mm, where did you go there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is our Mark V support. Okay. Room. If we uh, open this up, you will see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to slide the ramp out, but I'll give it a go. Um, but essentially, this uh, there's a big ship. You know. Yeah, I think I think I've seen you awesome. post the screenshot of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's what this is. That was actually made by uh, by Showers. It's a different guy on the Discord. Okay. He's been actually a huge help to this boat. 
So he helped help me make the stern side. He helped me make this. He built that Mark V. Built the Mark IVs. Nice. It's kind of been a collaborative effort. Between them. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, and you can see all the exhaust pipes up ahead here. Yeah. Yeah, it's still still a few things to do here and there. Um, so, you know, little paint blocks that are kind of out of yeah. order, you know, different yeah. colors, things like that. Yeah. But that's the thing is, if you want to make something nice, it takes time. Absolutely. So all right, we'll head back uh, forward here. And okay. We'll go um, into the birthing areas. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Got a bunk room. Um, oh, cool. Hatches that come back out to the main, uh, the main walkway there. Go forward. Walk all the way up to the white door. And that white door goes to the uh, bow of the ship. Okay. And, and then these are two huge yeah. cargo, uh, cargo uh, things here. You can put anything in there. You might even get a boat or a vehicle. They're pretty large. Um, those are accessible from B1. Okay. You go back inside the way here. I'll bring you up to the bridge. Now I know you you said earlier that you would class this as a cutter um, right. ship. Would you also, or would you say also it's an icebreaker, um, uh, or anything no, to do with no, an icebreaker at all? Classify this. Yeah, no, it, it has the color of a of a coast guard icebreaker. And, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna revisit and and actually make it an icebreaker. Um, okay. Because I, I think we all know what might be coming at Stormers here soon. But, Maybe. Uh, the, uh. Bow <laughs> <laughs> the bow shape is not uh, uh, icebreaker type. It's it's more of just an actual cutter. Um, but yeah, it's, with uh, it's got a point. Yeah, I've got the pointy nose on it. Right. It's got this has a pointy nose, and you know, cutters are more of a or cutters, icebreakers are more of a uh, a rounded bow. Yeah. But uh, so here's our bridge. You got a lot going on up here. Um, okay. All sorts of different stuff. We got our engine controls on the left. Here, let me turn on our, our cool lights here to make everything. There we go. All right. So operations. Right. Yep. Engines. Everything. Radar. Nice. Damage, damage control. control. That one's actually going to move. Damage control is actually going to be over here because we're going to have an entire diagram of the ship, bilge pumps, everything, what water. Oh, uh, nice. Where uh, nice. do you have something? Essentially, I want this ship to have everything controllable, everything customizable, everything that you could possibly think of when you're on this ship once you go. I wish it had dot, 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 and then figure out that it does have it. Yeah. Just need some new components from the devs and make that, help that along at least. Oh, absolutely. But uh, they've been, they've been uh, great pushing along. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, if we head down uh, this ladder here. go down the T2 corridor and yeah. then left and right you'll see these two nice big open like meeting rooms or briefing rooms or whatever we can possibly make them up thinking maybe okay. like an infirmary or something too yeah so you can pick up your, your wounded stormworks uh npcs <laughs> and put them in here and save their lives or whatever you want so. okay so we checked that out already and we need to go down correct right and uh actually we got we got one more more thing at top side I'll show you. Yeah, okay. Where did you go? Ah, uh, okay, climb, yeah. Nice. Just wanted to check out the uh, Mark IV real quick. Uh, okay, so these are the holding bays for, the, for them. Yep. Yep, and uh, so it's just a it's a quick little like response intercept boat. There's only one on board. Yeah. Because I wanted to keep one on board for the ship, and then if you spawned one in, I wanted to you know, be able to take it out far away from the ship if you had to without anything yeah. spawning or having to about that. So. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah. So this was my showers. We made this one, and then uh, this little davit here. You just pick it up, throw it over the side, jump on it, and, and go. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so we'll head back down, and uh, we got one last key feature to show you. If I don't fall in the water, uh. <laughs> not. yeah. What what um, what are you basing each uh, level height-wise? Are you using what ten blocks, eight blocks? I believe it's uh, nine, except yeah. the outside here is actually a little bit shorter. Nine plus a nine plus a roof. Elements and that's, 
Yeah, I think it's I think it's actually seven, nine plus the roof and the floor. So uh, as we go to the left here, you'll actually see the fire suppression pipes that are in the ceiling. Uh, okay. Nice. Yeah, and then we'll go uh, work our way forward here. Actually, I like how the the corridors are. They feel spacious, but at the same time, they feel very cozy. Um, if that makes sense. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel cold. It's all gray and sad looking. So. Yeah, that's fine. So maybe a our, maybe a green green floor. Oh, maybe yeah. That, I, know, I might do that. It might be nice. So here's just uh, one of our cargo cargo bay doors. Okay. Cargo hatches. So yeah, quite quite door. big. Yeah. Um, can you, uh, do you have any space underneath here? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> yes, you do. But uh, yeah, I might, might be able to make it a little bit deeper, we'll see. Yeah. So I'm busy uh, third bursting through your ship at the moment. <laughs> Always a blast, I do it all the um, time. So you got a whole bunch of walk. compartments underneath. Where are you storing your fuel, may I ask? Yeah, so fuel's about midship down underneath. Yeah, uh, it's it's got several different layers uh, of of ship, and uh, fuel is at the bottom. Okay. So right. Essentially, it works as both a fuel and a ballast. So, okay. And then, good. Uh, Do you have any? Our, is there any uh, stabilization system or anything like that you are currently running in it in the ship? No, absolutely not. And. Uh, no stabilization system at the moment. Uh, the fuel is kind of working as the stabilization. It does have um, bow and stern thrusters, though. Okay. And uh, I've been using that, kind of experimenting, because I think if, if anyone has ever played with a, a bow thruster, you notice that if you put it down towards the bottom, too deep into the water, and you give it a, a very hard uh, throttle input, it can even tip your ship over. Yep. So one of the things that I've been experimenting with is using it like you know a tilt sensor and different multiplication blocks and functions and things to get that to actually work with stabilization. So instead of what everyone's been doing to stabilize to keep things you know, up, it just kind of pushes it side to side using the valve. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I've I use the same more or less the same thing on on my ships, um, how they use the bow and sternum tandem. So whatever force you're getting on one side, you're getting an opposite on the other side, so you always you always almost get a level if that makes sense yeah um that's i'm, I'm lost again your ship <laughs> I, I, uh, lost. I made it so <laughs> yeah no i don't know if it's okay that was weird um i'm just i was just saying i don't know if it's because of the lag or it's because of the key switch itself. What are your settings on the key switches? Are they set to the default, or have you brought them down to the minimum amount of time needed to turn? Uh, I'm not sure what they're set. I think some of them are set on different times. So, okay. Um, no, I was I just think uh, it's very. Yeah, I was just I was just interested because for me it took it takes about I'm presuming it's the same for you. It's about five seconds to turn the key. One, two, three. Yeah, about five seconds. Not even. Um, Which key is that? Just any of the the hatch keys. Uh, sorry. So I was just interested about that. Yeah, that might be five. I think uh, it's I think it's a lag. I think honestly, I think it's I think it's a I think it's a lag thing, not a not anything yeah, else. I'm not sure to be honest with you. I, I can't remember. That was like one of the initial things that I did was make the hatches. And, uh, it but I, I do like yeah, I do like the hatches though. They look. Yeah, they look realistic. Secure, so. yeah. They look realistic, which is cool. And that's always a problem that I always have is making getting the hatches to look good, uh, and also be functional. Um, well, I'll be more than happy to send these your way if you want. Yeah, that'll be great. They're not hard to make though. Yeah, yeah, just the yeah. custom the custom doors. I'm just I, I don't know it's something about the color and. Just how, how it looks, but I think also has got a big thing to do with it is actually the the hallways and the size of the hallways. Um, I think that's got a big thing to do with it, because if you have a big open room like I do on some my ships, a big wall, and you have the small little custom door, and it looks quite weird. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, these are um, you know 
uh, four spaces wide until you get to the little, uh, you know, support. Uh, what could I call ah, this? that's that's. Hold on. Or are there actually there are five spaces wide and then three at every nine blocks. They have like a, a little support type look. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. The door, the doors themselves are only three by. I'd probably yeah, say the doors six. Doors themselves are only three, and then it goes into four, and then it goes to, into three every nine yeah. blocks. Yeah. Where there's like a support arch type thing. Beam. I don't know. I'm not a construction worker. <laughs> and these uh, little orange things on the side. I don't know. I figured they'd look cool. I saw them yeah. on some other creations. They look like some little uh, uh, life crafts or something. I don't know. Um, another neat thing that I added with this is, uh, you know how I am with realism sometimes. I just like to go overboard. But, yeah. uh, it's got yeah. it's got all of the lighting equipment you could possibly need for a ship of this size. Um, as far as like navigation lights, you know, it's got the two, two mast lights, your stern, um, your port starboard lighting. It's also got restricted and ability to maneuver lighting. Okay, good. Fair lighting. enough. Very nice. Uh, that was a big thing. Really nice. So, yeah, say. the only things I have left to add to this before I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. <laughs> That's uh, fine. No problem. I, I appreciate it. appreciate you taking the time to show me, yeah, and yeah, and show and show everyone else on the channel. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is this has been awesome. I'm glad uh, glad I got to show you this. I know uh, I'm a big fan of your YouTube and everything, so this has been pretty cool. But. Uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope no, uh, indeed. Hope I look, I look, I look forward to seeing it on the workshop. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, within at least, at least within the next six months, at least. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm hoping to have it up maybe by the end of uh, end of January, uh, give or take. Uh, just a few things I have to add to it and whatnot. And I'll, I'll, it'll be a good project uh, to finish. But, um, but no, maybe we can get into a workshop or not workshop, but multiplayer one of these days and do some missions and see how she works. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That'll be awesome. So we'll go ahead and end today's video over there, guys. Um, as always, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative and entertaining as always. And we'll see you in the next one.